greetings dear brothers and sisters when i was young when i was in primary school i remember being in the scouts group yes in the scouts we always go into adventure trips adventure activities one of those was actually in small groups to start a fire and boil some water the task was given to us and the teacher told us that the group which is able to start the fire and boil the water within the time given will be given a special reward badge each member of the team will be given a reward badge now we as a team started a fire in fact we started quite fast but then we were also struggling now we as a team were able to start the fire so were the other teams at the end of the exercise the teacher came to us and told us sadly you your group does not receive a badge we asked why yes you were able to start the fire but then the other groups were able to start the fire and boil the water faster than your group when we looked at it we realized yes we were able to start the fire in fact faster than the other groups but what we failed to do is we failed to turn that small fire into a larger flame hot enough to boil the water we tried several times several times we had to repeat the process of starting a fire until the natural wind helped us to turn it into a flame which actually boiled the water yes brothers and sisters sometimes the fire is there the fire we start is just dying away because we are not blowing it we are not giving it enough effort in order to turn it into a flame which will become something bigger something greater which will fulfill the purpose of the fire now this is what i can remember when i read the st paul's letter to timothy when he says fan into a flame the gifts god gave you yes god has given us gifts and he says that this gifts had come when the laying of hands took place we were all blessed with the gifts when the laying of hands came on to us at baptism at confirmation yes we were given the gifts of grace we were given sanctifying grace we were even given charismatic gifts to go on with life to live a life of faith to be on mission to proclaim the word of god and in today's gospel jesus christ says a light is not to be hidden he further goes on to say the amount you measure and give is very critical the more you measure and give the more will be given to you the more you do not give the more you ignore this giving even what you have will be taken away so brothers and sisters when i look at these two readings i see a big connection number 1 if we do not fan into a flame the gifts which has been given to us we will not even be able to measure and give anyone the flame has to be there first now how do we do it the simple thing is to exercise these gifts now some may be wondering what am i expected to measure and give am i expected to go out and preach the gospel in the streets am i expected to speak about jesus am i expected to write about him am i expected to bring more people into the fur, into the sheep fold so that they can be baptized and they can become more catholics yes these are great things that we can do many saints have done it and these are people who had set into a flame the small fire which had been given to them but it is not necessarily the only way to set into a flame the gifts that has been given to us ordinarily we are in families we are in places of work we are in communities we are in neighborhoods now all these places are avenues for us to practice the gifts that has been given to us to be able to exercise the grace that has been blessed onto us when the priest had laid his hands on us and baptized us yes brothers and sisters as a husband as a son as a child as a neighbor as a wife as a mother we are all expected to practice the life of grace we are expected to practice and be on mission to love to care to forgive to 
come to an aid when someone is in need. When we do this, we are actually practicing the gifts given to us to live a life of charity, to live a life of love, to live a life of showing who we are as believers of Christ. Can we do this? When we do this, we are actually trying to put into a flame the small fire which has been given to us at baptism. The husband who loves more, the wife who loves more, the student who studies more, the employee who contributes more into the organization. All these are in pursuit of living our life to the fullest. For it is St. Irenaeus who said, the glory of God is when man is fully alive, fully alive as a husband, fully alive as a wife, fully alive as a child, fully alive as an employee, fully alive as an employer, fully alive as a professional. In all these areas, we are able to practice the gifts God has given to us. Now, where does this gift come from? We have been already told by St. Paul that it already came at the laying of hands. Now, the good news is, brothers and sisters, as we practice, more gifts will be awarded to us. I also remember when I was still young, when I went to school, my mother always packed a Tupperware of water and another Tupperware with some sandwich and some money to take with me to school. And she also packed our bags, the books. Now, these were the things needed for us to go through school. But when we went for our scouts class, she also packed different things with us. Not only the sandwich, not only the Tupperware of water. She put in the small rope, the small strings which had been given to us by the scouts group for us to practice the many knots which we had to learn. She also gave us the small pen knife which was given to us to cut small things in the various activities in the scouts. She also gave us a torchlight which we were supposed to carry. Now these tools were necessary for the scouts. Just like that, brothers and sisters, God gives us the gifts according to our use and our need. Now, if we are on a mission to love, God is going to give us more and more ability to love to care, to forgive, to give. Now, if we are on a mission to preach, God is going to give us more and more the gifts to be eloquent, to be able to go out, to be able to share, and even the avenues to do all this. Now, this is what we need to do, to be able to be aware that we need to bring our gifts out, put it out in front of us for the benefit of others and for the growth of the whole community, rather than us just keeping those gifts and dying with it. Now, this is a warning by Jesus Christ. When we fail to give it, even the gifts that we have will be taken away from us. What good is it to be a son or a daughter or a mother or a father who doesn't love, who doesn't care, who doesn't forgive, who doesn't give? Now, that home will be like a home without light, that you had the gift to love, but you didn't love, so the light is hidden. That you had the gift to forgive, you did not forgive, so the light is hidden. What good is it for a student not to study and for an employee not to work hard? For you had the ability to work hard and you did not. You had the ability to give and you did not give. So even the gifts that we had may be taken away. So dear brothers and sisters, let us fan into the flame, a big flame, the gift God has given us. For it has already come at the laying of hands at our baptism. And as we make this flame, burn more goodness into this world, bring more goodness into this world, more and more gifts will be given for the benefit of the whole world. For God is a generous giver. So like him, let us become a generous giver. For when we do that, we are giving glory to God. We are living our life fully, like what St. Irenaeus said. The glory of God is man being fully alive. Let us set into a flame the life that has been given to us. Thank you and God bless you.